Looking in the bilge, centership, up forward this white piece is the sewage holding tank and this is where the level gauges are to show you full, empty or half full. We've got a lot of corrosion right here on this inspection plate so that should be opened up, cleaned, replaced and put back in. This is the air vent so that when you put sewage in there the air vents back overboard so the tank does not explode. Looking here to the right, this is the shower sump pump. You can see that float switch is raised all the way. Tells us two things. One, it's broken. Or two, they forgot to turn on the circuit breaker at the circuit breaker panel. So that needs to be turned on and operating. If it's not operating, it will overflow into the bilge down there. Now you can see all of that dirt and slime all that dirt and slime might be coming out of the shower or just might be dirt coming off of the floors as people walk into their staterooms up and down the stairs. So that's another concern. Now if this square bucket to the left, I'm going to believe that is a brine bucket for the Purisan or the Electrosan sewage treatment system. So that needs maintenance. Over here to my right, you can see that valve with that dirty tube, that's the drinking water tank. And it looks like there's actually two drinking water tanks and this is the seam where it's welded together, right there in the middle. You've got a valve to the starboard tank there and a valve to the port tank there. And then another level gauge showing right here. This is the level gauge for the port tank. So this boat's been, um, Deferred maintenance might be the word. So there's more systems here that we'll need to check into to see if they work. Let me bend over down here. Grab this bilge pump switch. See the switch, the square switch? Listen. Okay, so that bilge pump works. This bilge pump, the switch is already up. That's not working. And all the way over here, let's check out this switch, which is a high alarm switch. Let me find it with the camera. There it is. So that's your high alarm switch. So if the bilge pump doesn't work and you get about a foot of water down there, that alarm should go off. But if you can't hear it, I can't either. So the alarm switch needs to be a whole lot louder than it is right now. Really loud up here. Okay, it's loud up there, but we can't hear it down here. Check the circuit breaker panel for the shower sump. It's full of water. Just, just turn on the shower sump now. Okay, I hear it running. And here's the fresh water pump. And here's raw water. Fresh water and raw water just got turned on. Okay, good. Okay, so I'll play with this high level alarm switch that seems to be stuck. Okay, again, this is a pre-inspection before the prospective buyers come down to do a survey. If you have any more questions about pre-inspecting boats before you buy a plane ticket, look us up on the internet. Ask Captain Chris.